Let, let me go through. Who's asking that? No, nah, let me see. Is this like a new thing or what? Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. Okay, well, don't just reach for my phone. Like, I have stuff on there that, like, is not your business. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again. And today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is absolutely horrible. This loyalty test backfired on this woman. You did all this. How do you feel, bro? Bro. Okay, dumb as hell. Bro, like, no, because on. still, bro, like, you be making me feel oh, like you that, You need to make bro. this up to me, bro. You need to figure out how you're going to make it up to me. I'm not going to help you. But I need time to think. You need time away from I me. I need time, yes, to think. Like, I came to celebrate you, to be with you. I'm in a car bragging about you, telling them you my girl, woo, woo, we doing this. I got a big surprise for you for our six month anniversary of you. Oh, this shit, like. I know you probably upset, bro, because last thing you want to do is put, be put to the test or blindsided, so y'all yeah, can situate this shit later. Hey, no, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna be nowhere near by her. I'm trying to do my own thing. Spread to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I don't wanna get in the van with her. I'm gonna just do my own thing. All right, well, you want to get in the Uber or do you want to, because... Man, I'm just calling Uber to my car. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's a bit, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? No problem with y'all boys at all. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. But you a joke. You crazy. You crazy. What's up, bro? Oh, you a joke. You crazy. Now, I've shown a bunch of loyalty tests on my channel, and usually, let's just say it's always the person getting caught cheating. But this is the opposite effect of what happens when it fails. And I'll be honest, I made a couple mistakes in the past of my videos that said, you should be doing loyalty tests on your spouse to see if they're cheating. But after seeing this clip, I take it back. It could be extremely damaging for the entire relationship. He was everything that I mentioned. He did it, but as he did it, but in regards of what benefited him, and he demanded so much without considering who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. He paid, paid for everything. Okay. Um, any problem you had, he fixed it. Okay. Um, he was good. You broke it off. I broke it off. Okay. I, I ghosted him. Okay, finish, finish. Okay. For the simple fact, he wanted to have somebody love him in a um he was the only child okay so he wanted me to treat him as like his mother hoping that i would be super affectionate and i'm not huh? so i watched this clip twice and i had to pay attention thoroughly to see exactly what she's saying and the point she's talking about and i couldn't get a single point of what she's trying to say or make out i think she's just scrambling any words together trying to make it make sense but it's not you just look absolutely stupid don't oh, hit me what are you doing get away do it. Get away. Do it. Stop. Video it. Stop. Video. Go I'd ahead. Go ahead. Too. I'd Go. be scared Go ahead. too. I'd be scared Swing. too. I'm not I'd scared, scared of anything. What am I scared of? Yeah, good. You think I'm scared? You think I'm scared? Yeah. Thank you. I'll go home with him. Who? This guy's story is similar to a lot of the stories we've been hearing lately. Starts dating a woman. She moves in with him, with her child and all of a sudden things start going south in his business and his finances the relationship takes a turn for a worse and she kicks him out of his own house legally there's nothing he can do about it there are men out there losing their homes to women they're not even married to and the money that it would take to get it back legally is way more than the house could ever be worth I'm telling you guys, it's never been more important to find a godly woman. The world is falling apart right now. And if she's being raised by the worldly standards, there's very low chance of that being successful. And this is exactly why the woman you choose is the most important decision of your life. Not the degree you have, not your job. Literally nothing else matters more than your spouse. But if you're just desperate for anyone, getting a woman who already has kids or past failed relationships, be prepared to lose everything. This is not the first clip I showed of this. This is probably the hundredth one on my channel, and it just keeps reassuring you why it's the most important decision. They also need someone to handle me, and only an alpha or a double alpha can do that. The is a double alpha? Because people are stuck up on the word on double alpha i'm kind of curious on what she means by handle me are you gonna be a burden in my life because if so i don't need that well after i gave him the ultimatum he just looked at me in my face and was like if you feel like you need to move move and so we went through three months of like chicken where i had no friends in vegas no family in vegas i just really blurted that out i did not mean it i had no intention i had no job i had nothing i had no plans on moving to vegas i thought i was going to force this man to propose to me for three months he was like do what you got to do you want to move move so the last day i was putting my stuff in a car he came over 
and helped me put my stuff in the car. And we putting stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really gonna let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. He called. This is the definition of effing around and finding out. If you want to do this to try playing toxic so you can see if he really wants you or something or so he can marry you, don't be surprised when you get the short end of the stick. Not everything's going to work in your plan. If this was your idea, follow through with it. But let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. He finally asks you out, but another man is flying you to dinner. Let's see how well picking this gold digger route worked out for you. I fell in love this year. I'm no longer in love. But I did find it. I think it's something to celebrate, right? Yeah, keep telling yourself that, sweetheart. Dude pulled the old hit it and quit it. That's so tough. And now she'll forever compare every other man she goes on a date with with this man she went on an airplane date with. Her standards will forever be high and forever destroyed in my opinion. I should have just gone up to someone or I should smile more or like make more eye contact. So round two of embarrassing myself. All right, I'm back, and it was not successful. I can't do it, you guys. I can't go up to a man and ask him out. I'm sorry. That is not our job. If you, if I'm smiling at you and giving you eye contact and you can't ask me out, like, that's on you. I... Maybe it's not the fact that you're not giving enough attention to these men. Maybe it's the fact that you have random cameras or tripods or your phone just everywhere recording you. Men are not stupid. They're not going to approach a woman who's obviously recording herself trying to lift something. We live in 2024 now. Women record absolutely everything and no guy wants to be a victim in a story her friends ever talk bad about you i sound like some out of my but i just cut into them to be honest i just tell them get on my face that's why you single right now i've been faithful and maybe he hasn't that's the only reason why my friends may not agree with him if i choose to be with him then that's my decision and they should support me this is none of their business they one of her friends just left that club over there last night with a random that she just met that night her friend's lonely and they want her to be lonely too. Misery loves company. Now, usually I would defend this case and say, yeah, her friends are trying to sabotage her relationship. But if this man didn't fact cheat, she should probably leave him. This this Amy's reaction to me breaking up with her. Because <laughs> I said it's over. It's not happening, bro. Now, do you guys think this is a red flag or is this actually cute and funny? I don't think she takes bro seriously, but it is kind of funny. I can't lie. I'm looking for uh, a single man with no children who's in shape, uh, business savvy, <laughs> Christian, mm. um, clean, hygienic, mm. nice smile, mm. family oriented, and more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's not going to happen. No, honestly, guys, I don't think she said anything that was really outlandish or unrealistic. She's asking for a man who is hygienic, a man who takes a shower. That's not stupid. A man who is religious. There's a ton out there. And a man who I guess is just ambitious. I'm not going to rip her for these qualities. I'm happy I didn't hear a millionaire man. Actually, I have a boyfriend. Oh, like, I'm the side. Oh, my God. I I'm have, the, a, I'm I the have the a boyfriend. Stop. Oh, I have a boyfriend, but like, stop. Like, we're not talking about him right now. We're talking about you. No, you're crazy. You must not know who I am. Crazy? Stop calling me crazy. Stop. Like, you're such a narcissist. I'm a narcissist. Yes, you're full of yourself. How about You're that? full of yourself. I'm full of myself, but you want me to only talk to you while you can talk to other guys. Oh my God, because you're having me... Now, I'm not sure if this is a skit, because how does she not know that this man is recording the entire conversation? But honestly, like I said, it's 2024 now. I wouldn't be surprised if it's real. Some people are this brainwashed and delusional. Realization that I just don't want to work anymore. Like... It doesn't matter the job, the career path, the location. I just don't want to work anymore. Huh? I don't think anyone cares. You just got to go back to work. But the only reason she's posting this on TikTok is so she can get some sugar daddies to pay for her bills. That's the that's all in my opinion. Women who say I don't do one night stands or I'm not, not into hookups. Really? They will never admit it. It'll never be on their official record. When a woman says that, you'll hear stuff like, I only had four boyfriends, but they'll never include the one night stands, the hookups, co-workers on business trips, hotel bars, or old boyfriends that stop by for a quickie. Happens all the time. 
You just don't know about it. Yeah, I heard this opinion before, and honestly, my logic to it is there's always going to be one certain dude a girl will say yes for. It. Woman was sentenced to 30 years in prison after a DUI crash that killed six people, including her sister. 11 days after giving birth, 21-year-old Olivia Culbreth was driving 100 miles per hour on the wrong side of the road when she collided head-on with a Ford Explorer. Three generations of family members in the Explorer were killed. Gregorio Mejia and Leticia Ibarra, their daughter Jessica Mejia and her grandmother Esther Delgado. Olivia's 24-year-old sister Maya and her best friend Kristen Young also died in the crash. Olivia was the sole survivor. Her blood alcohol level was measured at 0.15%, which is twice the legal limit. However, this was measured three hours after the crash, indicating that the level was much higher when she was driving. Olivia had a prior DUI conviction stemming from a crash where she wrapped her car around a light pole. She also had her license suspended twice before and had only gotten it back one week before the fatal crash. Now, I know this clip is not correlated to cheating videos in the slightest, but the reason I wanted to show it is sometimes when you claim to be drunk, it can get you out of a situation. Being drunk is not a mistake and it's not an excuse for your action. A lot of people will say, oh, I was drunk. It was just an accident. I didn't mean it when it comes down to cheating. But the reality is just like driving and killing a bunch of people is an excuse when you're drunk, committing infidelity or any other acts while being drunk also is an excuse. Men are dumb. And here's how to manipulate them. Part five. These manipulation tactics are super red flaggy, so only use them on men who've hurt you and deserve it. Number one, if he ghosts you for like a week or so and then messages you like he did nothing wrong, act like it's all good. Make plans to meet up with him and then cancel last minute. That way you let him believe he can get away with the bare minimum. And at the last minute, you assert your femininity and show him who's the boss. Number two, text him, come here, and then stop responding. Text him, good morning, and then don't reply. But then at some point when you do get back to him, give him a normal reason as to why it took you so long. Number three, which kind of goes along with that, harmless rejection breeds obsession. If you reject him in whatever situation, but you give him a plausible explanation as to why you did that, he'll become obsessed. Kind of a similar thing as number two. Number four, create comfort for him and allow him to get used to it. Allow him to anticipate it. Allow for it to become a pattern. And then one day you switch it up you take the comfort away. That way he won't ever take you for granted again. Let me know if you want more. So only use it on toxic men? Is this really what she's trying to say right now? I mean, you gotta listen to the kind of stupid advice to women to be given to other women. And a lot of other women are listening to this. I've made, what, a thousand videos all over all my channels, and I've once never said any of this kind of garbage to men. Hey guys, here are some toxic things you should be doing to manipulate some women. If they don't like someone, stop bothering them. That's it. I've seen for a while now is how high the lesbian divorce rate is. I think it's something like 75% <laughs> divorce rate. But why I'm laughing is because how are you guys going to pin this one on men? How how are you going to blame men for this? Because you're it's two women. From what I'm reading online, um, what women say the reason for divorces in the same-sex marriage is domestic violence, cheating, feeling ignored, and get this one, feeling like one partner is not pulling their weight in the relationship, which is very interesting to me because you all preach, oh, men are like children, you have to take care of them, they don't pull their weight. But these are two women. So please tell me how you're gonna pin this one on men. Yeah, I heard the study before and the reality is you gotta hear the inverse study as well. And that is with gay couples. It turns out gay couples last a lot longer than straight couples and lesbian couples. I know, strange, right? But you guys can make whatever opinion you guys want with that information. And would you rather break up or let me go through your text right now? We go through them right now on camera. I have an ultimatum. Yeah, either we break up or let, let me go through Who's them. Who's asking that? No, let me see. Is this like a new thing or what? Yeah, so it on TikTok. Okay, well don't just reach for my phone. Like I have stuff on there that like is not your business. What are you talking about? <sighs> well, which one are you choosing? Why do I have to choose? Why is that a thing? Literally stop. All right, no, I'm done. Stop playing. No. Yeah, I gave you the ultimate. Okay, I'm not texting anyone, but I just have like a couple dating apps. All right, cool, then get out. Well, I haven't gone on a date, so why I does it care. matter? I don't get out. Seriously. Everyone should be able to explore their options, get out. babe. No, I love you. No, don't don't tell me anything. Get out. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. 
Get out of here. Look at her options. There's no way she really said that. This girl is bold as hell. But this is the scary part about dating. Sometimes you have no idea if your girl is still looking at other options. But a lot of women be like this low key. They're just hypergamous always, looking for a more high value, successful man than you. And once they find that man, trust me, they'll jump ship. A lot of women have, and a lot of women will. But that's just my opinion, guys. Because that does wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys do more content like this, please watch the video as you guys see the top screen. It doesn't much and all. A lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.